Good morning, coding friends. Today we're going to work on creating a little bit more of our Space Invader type game. So today we're going to create the bot that's going to go from the top and start moving down. So I'll give you an example of what we're building right here. Let me go ahead and minimize my picture so that you guys can see all of my screen. Okay, so we got our little bot. And he's traveling across the screen and shooting, you know, the laser beam down. Okay, so here we go. We're going to build this. I'm going to hit reset so that stops. We're going to open up a clean window. So we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to go into game lab. All right, so we start off great game lab with just our draw loop in here. So let's start by going out and getting our bot. Okay, so here we go. New animation. Like I said, I love these retro in here. And we can grab any of these little alien looking things or bots, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't matter which one you get. We'll change it up to suit our purpose. Uh, I think I'm going to grab this one here. I don't know if that's the one I used last time or not, but that's the one I'm going to use this time. Okay. Here he is. Now, I like to give our little animations some motion to begin with. And remember to do that. I don't add a new frame, but I hover over and we get this duplicate. Okay, once I duplicate it, I've got two of them. Now they're exactly the same. And the easiest thing is just to make something change. And to do that, you know, I'm gonna go in here to my picker. And we're going to choose a color. And his body right now is kind of green. So we're going to have him switch to maybe a bluish type color. Uh, maybe something a little darker. I like that there. Okay. I've got my color. And I'm just going to grab my paint pail or my paint bucket. And I'm just going to change him. So now he changes. Perfect. I like it. Okay. The other thing I might want to do is maybe change his eyes a little bit. So I'm going to grab my paint chooser, my eyedropper. I'm going to select that yellow color. And I'm going to grab my pail. And I'm going to change his eyes as well on this blue one. Now, as you see, he changes. You know, I don't really like the blue, or I mean the yellow with the rest of that being yellow. It kind of loses something with those eyes. So I think I'm going to go in here. We're going to go up to red. And I want a nice bright red. <clears throat> I like that color. Grab my pail and I'm just going to change these to red. There. I think I like that. Yep, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go with it. Okay. Now back to our code. We got to build our sprite, right? So I'm going to create my sprite. And it's going to be called bot. Now I could do bot one, bot two, whatever. And right now he's in the middle of the screen. I don't really want him to form right in the middle down in here. I want him to form in the middle up at the top. So I'm going to start him. I'll probably put him down about 10. Okay. So my Y will start about 10. So I got 200. And then I've got 200 for my X and 10 for my Y. Now I'm going to go back in. We're going to get an animation. Now remember his name is Bot, not Sprite. And we're going to grab our Retro Alien. So I hit Run. Nothing would happen yet. So I'm going to grab a Draw Sprite. We're going to put that in there. We're going to hit Run. There. Oh, man, he's a little big, right? little too big for me right now. So we're going to grab a sprite scale. We can hit reset so that's not on there. Let's do a sprite scale. Again, his name is Bot. And I'm going to try and make him half that size. Let's see how that comes out. It's still a little big, right? So I'm going to take him down. We're going to do a tenth of that size. So 0 0.1. Reset run. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I think that works. I was thinking about moving down a little bit more, but, you know, I'm going to. I'm going to put him at 20. 
There we go. Now we can see pretty much all of him. I like that. Okay. So we've got our bot. Now let's get him to start moving and I want him to move from the right to the left. Okay. So we're going to get a velocity X because we want to move across horizontally. And to get him to move across, it's going to be, I can see my, if you look down in here, we got our X and Y coordinate, and I can see that my X coordinate gets smaller. So we're going to do a negative one. Reset run, and there he goes. He's going across the screen. Now, <clears throat> of course, he's kind of smearing because we don't have a background. And I'm just going to do a simple background in here. Remember, it needs to go in the draw sprite or in the draw loop. And I'm going to leave it with white. We hit reset run. And there it goes. Our sprite is moving. I'm pretty happy with that. Right? We got a sprite. He's moving across the screen. Boom. That's our first success. Now, when he gets across the screen, I want him to go back the other way. So we're going to add a little bit of control in here. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to use an if statement. Nice and easy. I'm going to drop my if sta statement in there. And we're going to start with our bot so that when he touches this side, he can go back the other direction. Okay, so I'm keeping track of my sprite's X position. Now, before I do that, I want my math, okay? So if my sprite gets over here and gets less than, we don't want him to go all the way off the screen. So I'm going to say about a, a negative, or when he gets over here about 10, I want him to switch and go the other way. So if he goes less than, oops, I didn't grab it. So if my bot's X position, so this is bot, is less than 10. So if he gets over here and gets less than 10, I just want him to change directions, and that's my velocity x. And it was a negative one. I just want it to go to one. Let's check that out. Beautiful. He goes over there and goes back the other way. Nice. Now, one thing I want you to know is if you do a less than, Depending on what I'm adding by, he could end up going off the screen, right? I've got mine counting by ones, but if you're counting by tens, once he hits that, once he gets less than 10, he'd be at zero. So he'd be off the screen kind of like now. Now my bot goes across, but he leaves the screen over here. So we just need a, another if statement. And we're just going to do the same thing, but this time instead of less than, if he gets greater than. And I think I'll do 390. We did 10 here. 400 is the edge. So we're going to do 390. So there's my greater than. And I just want my sprite.x. And his bot. And I said 390 because that's almost off the screen, but not all the way. And we want his velocity to go back the other way. So that's just our x again or x velocity and we want it to go back to pa or to negative excuse me so now he'll go back the other way again so we hit reset run and he starts moving across the screen he goes and coming back Beautiful. He is working. He's going back and forth. Now, here's the next thing. In that Space Invaders game, they move down and they start coming closer, right? So let's do that next. So we're going to go and we're going to grab our control. And we're going to do another if. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to grab our math. Now, I could do an equals, right? Our double equal sign. So that's equals, but I'm going to do less than or equal to, okay? And there it is. And I'm going to do my bot.x. 
<coughs> excuse me again, bot.x less than or equal to 10, when he gets over there, I want his y to move down. So, uh, y equals, <coughs> and I'm just going to type this in so I can show you how that works. Bot dot y, I got plus, oops, chip, plus 10. Reset run. Now watch what happens when he gets over to this edge of the screen. He came down 10. Beautiful. Now, when he gets to this side, I want him to do the same thing. Okay, so when he hits each side, I want him to just keep stepping down. So here we go. I'm going to do another if statement, so more control. And it's going to be the same thing. You know what? Instead of doing that, I'm going to drop that out. I'm going to show you guys a trick. I'm going to just drag my mouse across here. See how I got that highlighted? I'm going to hit Control C, which is Control Copy, or it's just Copy. Now when I click off of it, you see how there's a little black dot right there? I can use my arrow keys to move that dot around. Now that it's at the bottom, I'm going to hit Control V. Now here's the thing. It all says the same thing, right? But on the other side, I know it's going to be the opposite. And it's going to be 390. So I'm going to go to show text. Instead of less than, I want greater than. And I don't want 10. I want 390. That's checking the other side. I'm going to go back into our block mode. But I still want him to move down 10. So here we go. He's moving across. He is that side. Ooh, he went down 10. I like that. Going back the other way. Let's see what happens. We get to the other side. And he touches. Boom, down 10. Beautiful. Nice. I think I'm going to stop the video here. And when we get back together next time, we're going to create the laser. So if you guys look at the one I created over here, I'm going to hit run. You can see that our bot shoots a laser. Okay. So we will create that in our next video. So happy coding. See you next time. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Have a great day. And... See you next time.